So this question says y is less than 6x plus 2. It goes on to say, for which of the following tables are all the values of x and their corresponding values of y solutions to the given inequality? So we're just trying to figure out basically matching, right? So for instance, um, each of these answer choices start off with x equaling 3, 5, and 7. So let's see what would happen if x equals 3. So when x equals 3, I'd have my y is less than 6x plus 2. I replace x with 3, so I'd have y is less than 6 times 3 plus 2. Therefore, y is less than 6 times 3 is 18, and then plus 2. So y must be less than 20. So for choice A, it says y is equal to 20. Well, that can't be true because we found out that when x is 3, y must be less than 20. So choice A is gone. For choice B, 16 works because that's less than 20. That works. For choice D, 24 is not less than 20, so choice D is gone, right? So we chose one number and got down to a 50-50. So we're between B and C as our correct answer. Let's try x equals 5. So when x equals 5, skip over those steps, I'd have y is less than 6 times 5 plus 2. y is less than 30 plus 2. Therefore, y is less than 32. So when x equals 5 y should be less than 32. Let's see what we have. For choice B, we have 36. That's too big. So choice B is gone. Choice C, we have 28, which is less than 32. So that's correct. That's the only answer we have left. So choice C must be the correct answer. So the strategy we used here was just plug in information from the question, right? Or actually plug in information from the answers, PIA. Right, so I'm plugging in the, the 3 that I see here, and then the 5. There is no need to get down to the 7 because I got my answer from just plugging in 3 and 5. But plug-in answers is the strategy that we used here.